Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to do a quick video uh, showing the new battery. Now that this is released and it's coming out to people and shipping and stuff like that, we've been shipping all this week, I wanted to do a quick overview. On the top, we have an auxiliary power switch. That'll be a future update just for like strobes and stuff like that. That'll come out of this port with the CAN bus for future systems. So kind of a future forward battery. But right now it works the same way as all the other batteries. It's got a main power switch, flip that on, fires up the system. This is really a sweet little battery. It's a smaller, smaller battery pack. So um, shorter overall than the old one. you'll see when I put it in. Um, and then on top of that, it's got 30% longer flight time. So if you compare it to uh, your old batteries and stuff like that, it goes from a 3.7 kilowatt hour battery to a 4.8. So I'll just throw it in the back, throws in the back just the same. It's got this new little nice handle on it, a little up grade from the old system. Um, slide it in the back and just slides down. Um, we got a new extra standoffs because it is a little bit longer, just slightly longer. So it can still fit in the same back, but you can see how much lower that is there. And then uh, Sean's taking off. We're going to go to the lake. I've never been to this lake. I'm going to go check it out. But uh, yeah, we'll see you up there. Peace. Strapped in here. Turn our comms on. Go ahead and plug in the battery here. And then we can go ahead and turn it on. So main power switch turns it on. That'll boot up our hand controller with the system. I won't do much talking because my I don't have a mic hooked up to the the camera here. But uh, I'll do an uncut video for you guys because this is a flight test, kind of flight time video to give you an idea of the the new battery performance. All right, I'll buckle it up. Check our hand controller. Got 96% charge. Could charge up a little bit more, but it's fine. This should be a good idea of the time. Check all our lines here. And then we'll go ahead and do a quick throttle up. There we go. Alrighty. Basically no wind. But we'll see you up there and uh, I'll do a total time when we land.
All right, we're landing now. 81 minutes in. Strobe's putting in the work. Because it's sunset. 20 minutes ago. And, uh, we'll line up our approach here. Da -da 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 -da. Let's zoom it in. <laughs> I let it slide. All right, we're down. All right, so that's it. We're landed. Uh, an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, pretty good. Hopefully it gives you a good idea of the battery performance and stuff like that. This is standard with all the units. This is the large, you know, battery. We're going to have a half-size battery that's going to be updated pretty soon. That should be really cool. Less weight, more capacity, similar to this. This is a little bit more weight, so about a few pounds more, but it's about 30% more flight time, as you can kind of tell. Uh, but yeah, I mean, flying an efficient wing, like a Viper, it's, it's fast and still get a lot of great stuff, but I think most people would expect at least an hour of flight time, which is, uh, which is really good and what I think a lot of people have been asking for. The other thing with this battery is it's got new updated uh, cells and the cycle life's a lot higher, so about four times the cycle life. So 2,000 cycles um, before it reaches the 80% capacity. So this will mean a lot more reliable. Um, the battery pack should last much longer. No worries about like charging, storage, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so a lot of big updates, the CAN bus, the auxiliary power system, um, smaller size overall. But yeah, we'll see you guys. Peace.